This does look like just a bunch of old stones. It's a lesser palace than Knossos, it's called Malia, but what I like about it is that Arthur Evans didn't do anything to it, so everything you see hasn't been tampered around with. I think there were, it was subject to a massive earthquake or something, it was never rebuilt. This is the west side of it, when the facade would have been quite fine blocks, these are royal apartments. Like Knossos, it has these kind of ceremon ceremonial causeways. Some of the course is new, restored, but the causeway would go. There are these kind of routes that you had to take before you entered the palace. So these funny round storagey things by the south entrance. Interestingly, Knossos has things like this, very similar, very close to its south entrance. Where is that? The Knossos, I didn't notice, it had a pillar in the middle. It is not known what they were for. We're looking at a giant storage jar, which is probably almost find them everywhere around these uh, ancient Minoan sites. They're basically storage jars. They're, they're kind of like the, the tetra pack of the ancient world, if you like. They were used for a variety of, of uh, things, including wine, grain, possibly olive oil. But just imagine the size of the ovens that could fire these uh, huge, huge um, pots. And it's quite incredible. What we're looking at, these rather beautifully um, carved solid blocks that would have presented the facade of the royal apartments of the palace. Um, and we can see how fine they are even to this day. We can also see this rather beautiful uh, processional uh, staircase going up to the uh, upper floors, uh, which of course would probably have risen to three stories possibly. We're looking at a staircase here of the Palace of Malia, which would have led up into the uh, stories above it. Um, all gone now, of course. But just the idea that this staircase is 3,500 years old is quite awe-inspiring. Um, <clears throat> we're standing in the uh, central courtyard of the Palace of Malia, which is uh, uh, not as rebuilt as Knossos, which was uh, in a, in a way manufactured by Evans, the uh, man who excavated it at the beginning of the century. So what we have here is actually much more original, much more intact. We can see here this very odd stone. No one really knows much about it. This worked stone that stands in the middle of the court. But what this court actually does have is a, the only ever excavated and discovered uh, altar for uh, burnt offerings which stands in the middle there like a sort of a pit. Possibly this um, courtyard was used for the wonderful acrobatic uh, dances that um, the, the Minoans performed over racing bulls which are one of the great mysteries of the ancient <laughs> world how they actually managed to do this. And much of their art revolves around this kind of um, uh, acrobatic performance Let's imagine that this is a courtyard where it could possibly have taken place with, with all the porticos intact and people gathering around to uh, watch. Here we're looking at the remains of the uh, portico. It would have been a, a columned portico. We can actually see the bases of the columns are still, uh, still there. These kind of round stones are in place. And also these rather curious uh, holes there. We, they, it is said that these were used for posts to close off the portico uh, to, so that when they had the famous acrobatic bull performances, um, people were uh, considered to get safe behind these uh, 
palace saves, if you like. Um, these I find absolutely fascinating. I have not seen anything quite like this before. These are the original floors of the East storerooms. And um, the, the floor is completely intact and actually shows the drainage system for whatever was kept here, perhaps wine or olive oil, some form of liquid. So if there was kind of a spillage, it would drain into the central gully and then you see at the end of the gully some kind of uh, ceramic um, drain in which the liquid was gathered. The Cretans hung out with the Egyptians and this is a Cretan form of hieroglyph. This clay, this clay bar represents uh, some of the artisanal trades in this area, just beyond.